If you are also here for the program, if you are also here for the program uh, for Central Monrovia and other parts of uh, Liberia, you can also come forward. We will assure you so you can have your seat. Yeah, very soon, very soon we will be calling the broader party. But before we do that, this is a religious program. So the DJ is going to be playing for us in our seat. Uh, as we also in the drama party. DJ, I know you have some beautiful Nashi. Uh, for me, I prefer Dian at Nashi. So you can play anything. Uh, this is a very beautiful moment. 
in anybody's life, be a woman or a man, this is the moment that we cherish, we honor, and we celebrate for the fullest. So DJ, we are waiting on you to play any kind of version. But, yeah, uh, yeah, somebody got to help us. This is uh, the program that we have to invite the presence of God Almighty. So we have to do that. Yes, we have to cleanse this place. I mean, with something beautiful, religious. Yeah, anybody, any volunteer, you can help us. Any volunteer, if you have some, you can help us. Uh, emancipate us. Any, any help from that end? The unit so any, anybody, anybody, we need something, yeah. I think our sister is about to help us. Thank you. Don't she the corner come here.
so like I said, the official holy matrimony of uh, Mr. Abu M. Sharif and uh, Ms. Aisha M. Sharif. If I can I So we do welcome remarks, and obviously that will be done by somebody from uh, the Sharif here, here, our home here, from Mangide, Kakata. Mm. So what, 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 what is that? Thank you very much. Uh, Salaamu Alaikum. Hello? 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 In the name of the Sharif family of Guinea, from Sierra Leone, Liberia, and all around the world, we want to say welcome to every one of you. We appreciate your presence here today, and we want to thank Allah for giving us this opportunity to see every one of you for being able to um, help us in celebrating this event today. We pray that every one of you that made a way here today. We pray that Allah takes people back and save and bless every one of you for coming. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Allah. 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 We'll stick this to the Imam's table where we call on. Beautiful opening prayer. 
And then obviously, I told you today is the whole day, the whole matrimony between Mr. Abu Sharif and of course Aisha, Mr. Aisha Sharif. And the order of the program, we have the arrival of Brother Patti. Uh, welcome with my opening prayer. Introduction of the program that I'm currently on shortly. And we will also be giving opportunity to our Imams, at least two Imams, to speak to us at least for 10 minutes each. And the first Imam will be talking about marriage, the law and obligation uh, that are associated with marriage. The second Imam will also be talking about the role of parents in Islamic marriage and its importance to sustainable marriage. That 10, 10 minutes each of them. After that, we have special recognition and appreciation for the groom. Uh, presentation of gifts. Of, of course, you know you have to give something to the brother party. They will have a statement for the brother family. And of course, the groom fa the, the brother family and groom's family. Then we go to at least three minutes to five minutes each to some of our dignitaries who are here today. For example, uh, St. Amara and Conan of Bapolo County, representing the civil S. Conan of District Number 2. Honorable Sam Sayon, uh, Honorable Sepu, Sepu Carrasco Damaro, the Freedom FM family, the Gem Pro family, the President of the Bureau, Progressive Lady, the Emancipation Project, the Parame Base, the Macombs, the Macombs bodies, uh, the FR, the FSI alumni, and of course, lastly, Friend of Carrasco. Then, we will move of things and close them. After that, we can take all of the photos and then Article 13. So this is going to be a very short program, and very juicy. Having said that, I will now call on Imam Hassan Lai to do the first on topic, marriage, the law and obligation. Yeah, <laughs> The mic, the mic. Let me have a mic for the bottom. Yeah, that right. one. Put a mic for the bottom. Who said that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you continue. I hope you continue. We have food and regulation that guiding us down to our mouth. One two. 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 The message is, Allah, to the last brother in our stand, which is Mohammed, peace of us, your body. They never married because the time was too short. This one day, you can be a proper Muslim, except you married. Number one. Number two, in that place, who to marry from? Should we give your daughter to? Who will marry your daughter? This is saying, is a jar of commander down a bit in and walk look at. That's that with you. If the person comes to you, I want to marry your daughter, the first condition you must agree. Here, Imam, or any dignitary in the community, that can allow the woman for him. You should agree that I'm giving my daughter. That is the first condition. The second condition, that is, he or she should be a Muslim. It's a law for the men to marry, not talk to her to become a Muslim in the next future. 
there. You would have come here again. The parents of the woman should let you. Because you imam, or you meet me in the community, that can allow the woman for you. Then, then she be married, dowry between you. The prophet said, those prophets that came before him, they all married and he married. And Allah said in the Holy Quran, Ya yu ladina ama. Banki huma tu abala ku minan nisai. Masulah sa waruba. You say you believe in Almighty Allah. And the prophecy of Muhammad, you should marry. Starting from one, if the one you can ever to control, you must talk to one. But if you know you can control more than one, it's the law for you to marry up to four. Then they should be married. That will be real. You sit down with the parents. Come on, you discuss. You are marrying our daughter with this certain amount. That is plenty. Please reduce it to this. But there should be something in between the both parties. Even a ring, bigger ring, that can be in marriage. Prophet gave a woman to people that he asked them, What is that? I don't have one. I only have one single ring. He gave them. It means there should be no marriage except the man should get something to make the woman happy with him. Based on this, our marriage will not be blessed if there's no diary between us. Even the woman back. Make the woman happy. Make the parents happy. You should discuss something. This is our diary. This one is plenty. Then this one we can afford. Then, from there, for the marriage to be blessed again, the married night. They should first perform two raka. The man should stand in front, the woman behind. The perform the two raka there, the man will ask Almighty Allah to bless this marriage. If there's anything that will come to disrupt this marriage, then Almighty Allah should take that one from them. And when they are about to sleep, they must not just sleep like animals are sleeping. They must sleep in the name of God, Almighty Allah. That is, Oh, our Lord, we are about to sleep, and we want you to give for a child. Please, a child that you are giving to us. Please, a child that you are going to give it to us, you must protect the child from Shaitan, the evil Shaitan. You can plan your life as Abu planned in Maria so many times ago. And the same way the child that you asked me, Almighty Allah, to give the child, to play the life of the child, before the body of the child. Starting when you are sleeping with your wife, you ask Almighty Allah to give your blessing child. You ask Almighty Allah to protect this child from evil shaitan. Those are the child right that the Islamic religion is telling for to fight for before the body of the child. Based on this, we advise ourselves us to marry, to marry, to marry. Even you go to non-Muslim, you will marry from them. Meet their rule and regulation. That one will allow the woman for you, and that one will bless the child. Due to the time factor, to to bless this child, uh, this marriage, to keep their long life. You all that participate. I don't know, Kakata here of Morovia. May Allah give you blessing in your activity. Thank you. Thank you very much. Amen. Amen. And then uh, the MC officially. Uh, I'd like to start off by recognizing uh, the people that are on the program sheet, first and foremost. Honorable Amara Kwane of uh, Bapuru County. Uh, Mr. Amara Kwane, you are recognized wherever you are. We would like to recognize you in higher esteem. And of course, we also like to recognize the presence of uh, Honorable Seku Eskane, uh, who is the lawmaker of District Number 2 Moscow County, Republic of Liberia. So, here, yeah, Madam, somewhere around here, Madam Shari, Sue Hali. We also like to recognize folks uh, from Freedom FM, Austin Kawara, 
Alex has kind of all of a kind, the rest of the crew members. And ladies and gentlemen, we also like to recognize as the event to this all important program. Mr. Sam Sion is here, present. We recognize you, sir. Our last school, Tamaru. As a matter of fact, no, Margaret Kante is a hustle name here. He needs no introduction officially. I also like to recognize uh, Jempu. Bring it, don't allow a husband to go out the way he feels. Feel. But outside there, you will look up to the people. You should take consideration of things and look at him and know which role for him to take out and go out. You take care of the children. Now, there are millions of men in this universe, but no one look at you, my sister, today except Uncle Sherry. So what is your fault today now? He should be the only man that you can sleep with until the last day of both of you. That is one of your obligations. It's meant to go due to the town fighters who will go through all this. Our parents now, you have a in your children marriage. As my imam said, anyone that comes to you, I want to marry your child. The first thing is you agree upon the person. If you like the person, then you will give your daughter to the person. So, in this, what is upon you as a parent now? Where your daughter is going, it should be the paramount thing for you. Don't give your daughter out to anywhere, no. You are seeking the welfare of your daughter. If your daughter is going out, know where she is about to marry. Don't just send her out to marry to any person. Then later she will go and suffer. Islamically, it's not good. You should look for the welfare of your daughter before she go out to marry to any person. You as a father also, don't allow your poor child to marry anyone. You should have control. But today's civilization says if you are 18 years old, then you can do anything for yourself. Then where will you place your parent? Where is the respect of the parent? Where is the role of the parent? If you are not so it's about to marry somebody that you don't know. Don't just say you're married. We don't want to answer. We don't want to answer. Some of you can. Then, if that woman comes in the family, if she's a good person, in there, she will put the family together. That's why you always say, please, we are seeking for a wife that will be a needle to sew all together. But if you have a sister wife, you will tear the family apart. To you as a parent, when your child is born or the dead child is about to marry, you have to be very good for your daughter. Or to choose a better husband for your daughter. Because if your daughter marries and you go and support them, they back to you. If I ate it up with the chicken, who the children were going to? Child right. That means you were important. The father who had the full weight to The role of the parent is very important. Mom, I don't care how two things are very valid for a child. Even the top and the teeth. 
I can pack a hundred of them. I lay the team, so you can't put two plus two. So you ask my father, put both the six and two. So that you should wake up.
Hmm. Before no one had to go around to reset. So you realize you realize, you realize that nobody stood in the well. It's just Abu and the madam. Have you noticed that? Yes, sir. Oh, don't see how two men are going to say Mohammed. The two men are going I want to talk about them because you I remember I went to one wedding. The woman was serving the food, so people don't have the food. We are going to say, oh, you have the food. You don't want to say, you don't want to say. And when I was like, you don't know, we are the one begging for my guesses. You go around and say, so when you say, oh, my, you go, okay, hey, that's all, hey, where to talk, no problem, I was happy. So that's why I don't want to call these guys, but I will not call on the group to make uh, special recognition uh, and appreciation. Come. Peace on to all of us, those of us who are not Muslim. And I'd like to, in a very special way, and on behalf of my wife, Asha Sherry and I appreciate all of you for your sacrifices. Comrades, <laughs> so I'd like to first of all begin by explaining why we plan and execute our program in a very special and unique way. A little different from the usual. If you know me very well, I try very hard to be distinct in whatever I do. So I try not decided to make ourselves the center of this occasion and we should remain the center of it. So that was the basis for which we decided that yes, we have very good friends who have loved to stand with us and want your attention to be on us. Thank you. So, there are always very unique and special people in one's life as you go along. And you encounter them sometimes from the beginning and other times as life proceeds. And seeing as the case with us, we encounter a lot of very exceptional friends. Some we started on a very tough note, particularly being a very fierce political journalist in Liberia. Sometimes our opinions are very hard on some individual, but yet still, they turn out to be our good friends. And when they heard about this wedding, they did not stop back. They came around, they rallied, and so we want to seize this moment to recognize very important individuals and their contribution to my webinar on the success. To begin with, my very illustrious boss, and of course, the father figure, Omen Sam Sire and his family. You know, when we took the decision to transition to Freedom FM, a lot of friends were, oh my man, from the university, you were a very cool guy and all that. So we thought Freedom was a very rough terrain. Not understanding that we have the ability to adjust and do even more than the people who are in the most notably tough terrains. And when we enter there, we became tough. Credit to the support and backing of Mr. Sion and his family, the management of Freedom FM. So Mr. Sion was very magnanimous in all this. His support, the kind words, and his encouragement. Oh, my young man, you are a very progressive, popular young man country is almost calling your name all the time. So I know sometimes it's a tough thing to make a decision, but I assured him that I was going to make the decision, which I did. And when I did, he stood right behind me, and here we are today. And I also like to recognize uh, our Senator Amara Kone from Bapulu County. On the outside, he come across as not too much a good friend, but private, privately we are very good friends. But we have policy issues sometimes, we disagree. But we are good friends, and I'd like to appreciate him for all of his support. And I'd also like to recognize the political leader of the All Liberia Coalition Party, the father figure, Alahaji Losoni Kamara. He and I have a very personal relationship and it was amazing to know that 
even when he took the decision to join the, I don't know if it is still safe to say the rescue team, but however, when he took the decision, we had our private conversations and it happened. So, so, Honorable, Honorable Kamara has been a very good support and all that. And the DEA, the drugs man, Aaron Kuma. You know, whenever we are staying here, an invitation is come, I mean, we will fight down there. And then I tell him, I say, I have the ability to raise you. And he said, okay, we'll try. But outside that, we have a very good relationship, and he too has been very magnanimous and, su and supporting me. And my own sister, sometimes you, you play the lead role in others or some people's life, but at some point they come in, they seize the moment, and I'd like to recognize the, the brilliance and excellence of the progressive ladies of the CBC. They have been a very good family. They took in our advice very seriously, and they are by far the biggest female uh, political movement in our community. So to my good friends, my professional colleague, Jempo, my Kamsa, and the FSR. The FSR is the Forest Service Institute, like you heard the MCC right here. I am a trained and certified Liberian diplomat. I pray to you of my completion of the study requirements of the Forest Service Institute of Liberia. So while there, we cultivated a very fruitful relationship with our colleagues, and those relationships remain. So I also like to recognize the support from the back, some of whom have now become ministers in Mr. Parker's government, like uh, my good friend Daniel, Daniel Kupwe, uh, Assistant Minister at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and the host of others who have made it. So, you know, to have a program, you can have just a few people contribution making it successful. The sacrifices each of you put in to be here from a new year, in fact, is for me the prime, the prime contributor to the success of this program. You bring your gas, your time, and all that. So I'd like to appreciate all of you in a very special way, but not forgetting our parents. I'd like to say thank you to our parents for inculcating into us the training of Islam that got us to recognize the values and the importance of marriage, and that's why we are here today. So I'd like to say a very big thank you to them. And you may think I've forgotten, but no. Just before this point, we also encounter some very wonderful people. Are there? How many brothers are there? It's, this is a beautiful clan. All the other people there get small, small problem, but this is complete. Yeah. So you want to you want to clap for my wife? The face of the head. Oh yes, we family, our own family, our fathers and our mothers for choosing me as the luckiest man to be walking the streets of Monrovia with the most beautiful woman and all that. So, a dear brother and friend, Seku Kalasko Damaro. I'm sure he's here, but sometimes they make him here, but to see, yeah, because of the men they're here. Yeah, you rather? read her. Oh, okay. I thought they had that in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kalasko, Brother Idris, and Salah Kone, Lassie. There's a Lassie here. And I want to also recognize. And, but he has spent more time with the sheriff, so he, he appears very fine. That's Kenny Akone. 
Thank you very much, family. Let us have a wonderful time. God bless you. Thank you. A diplomatic background. So I know some people are saying. Today is a blessing program for all of us. Abu, come here. Abu. Yeah, this, this man is my grandson. I'm a man, I'm the, I'm, I'm a man with a, with a higher ring, with a higher account of a lower ring. He is my grandson. His father is my son. But Abu is very respectful. A honest child. We thank all of you that came to attend our program. And we pray that God reward all of you and carry you back safely. This marriage is the same family. My brother's son, my son comes. And not the same family. So what we need for you is prayer. In our tradition, in our Islam, in our, in our Islam religion, the lady here is my daughter. That ring more than even Abu. That's okay. Abu is my son, my, my grandson. So we need your prayer. We want you for the prayer for us. Let it marry be a blessing. Let it be a blessing that all of you that are in here can be happy. All of you can just be happy with this marriage. So I thank you all. Thank you very much. Um, we are glad that uh, Abu Shabi is joining a team of married men already in Jempo. As per our rule, we don't indoctrinate, we don't give out our gifts at rainy ceremonies. Yeah. The family will get back home, we'll find a designated date, we'll go there and provide our gift to the family. But because there is a professional that we don't get gifts, we get books. So we have to we have procure two books in journalism and we'll share with Abu Sheri as our gift. Two books in journalism. There's a professional now, we don't give up teacher, we don't give Napa. We give books. So we have procured two books in journalism. We'll share with, we'll give it to the family. Excuse me. When they get back to Morocco, congratulations to Abu Sheri. We wish you all the best in your marriage. And we, we wish you all the best in your marriage. We hope and pray that uh, everything will work out very well. We are very confident about that. We also want to assure you that Allah will bestow his blessing upon you and your family. Congratulations once more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we are the progressive ladies of CDC. We are a political off movement that, in fact, the backbone of this political movement is our leader, Chepo Alato Damaro. When he saw a group of young girls in our community, he decided to put us together and as vibrant as we are, to see us, assist us in the community, to put us together and, and support the re-election of President George W. No, no, no. On that note, we are here yeah, to make an occasion. Last week, we were invited by Sebu Kalako Zamaro, but we were invited by Abu Sherry. Abu Sherry played an instrumental role in our life as young women of this community. Abu Sherry stood by us during our dark days when we were bullied by community members. Abu Sherry, in fact, introduced us to that group more influential and was part of platform the Freedom FM. Abu Sherry gave us that platform free of charge that the president, the former president of this republic, President George Manuel Guia, had to tune in and listen to our sponsors. Madama, Madama, coffee. Coffee. Abu Sherry, congratulations as you taking this first step. This step.
Jeff, trust me, I've been there. And it is not easy, it is tedious. Uh, yes, I'm your coach. Uh, <laughs> so it is tedious, but understanding, and, you know, and comp compromising things, certain things between your husband and your wife can make this journey more easy. Okay. Uh, but I'm here specifically, or even though I'm speaking on behalf of the professor's lady, but personally, Abu did so much for me. Let me say it. They said, get a man a towel when he's alive. Abu is a brother to me. So I will always appreciate Abu wherever I go and wherever I am. Thank you so much. All right. Look, this is a super white one of us sitting on star. Can I hear? Can I hear some of say I'm happy? Are we happy? I am super excited. I am super excited. Yes, sir, I can't go no deal. I'm all yes, sir, I'm from the media, I'm from the media. Can I hear you about that? I am super excited. I want to congratulate the parents, I mean the, the couples, and my special thank go to both parents. We as parents have an obligation to wait them, make sure they reach the next stage and get married. I am excited. But I'm going to give my five minutes allotted to me. I'm taking one minute, 30 seconds, and get a three minute, 30 seconds to my wife. But before I end my one minute, 30 seconds, the guy who is the MC here is Shefa. Shefa is the administrator. Shefa is the diploma. Shefa is the lawyer. Shefa, wedding, it was Abu Shari who serve as MC. So why is today Sebastian here as MC? Susu. So is that a Susu? <laughs> so uh, I'm happy, like I say, I'm excited. I just want to say thank you for all of you. I start trying to go to the door of all the way to Canada. I am a super, super law enforcement for something for my business. Thank you. So I'm inviting my wife, so I can come and my pizza. This is a beautiful occasion. I will get just a farm. 
the kind of person you are. People drove from Monrovia to tell you already. I mean, you justify the kind of person you are. Please manifest that justification to your wife, even though she's your partner's partner for life. And anything you do, she serves as a representation of your wealth image. So may Allah bless this, you know, and give this, you know, beautiful children that will benefit you at your own age. Thank you so much.
beautiful marriage. I started as far as Sunday, the 28th of uh, last month, April, and we are closing this program, the service this city of beautiful Miss Mr. Aisha Sharif, and of course, Sharif. So we, like I said, we continue to celebrate them. Even after today's date, we we'll continue to reach out to them and continue to show love and care to them. So having said that, this is the seventh day program of the Holy Matrimony between Mr. Abu and Sharif, Mr. Aisha Sharif, who God has destined the both of them to be together, and we are yet to witness on this species. Uh, the second day of uh, May uh, 2024. So having said that, we go straight into our program. We have special time, we recognize some of our people who are coming to praise us in this occasion. So as it is now, we go straight into our program. We have imams that are here that will be preaching for all of us here, specifically the couple. So we will start this one important program by invoking and inviting the presence of God Almighty. So we now call on Imam Abu Kamara, the head Imam of uh, the Madina Island Central Works, to come and open this unique occasion with a beautiful prayer where we invite the presence of God Almighty. Ustaz, you are now welcome. So. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim <laughs> Mais 
Kaji Afran aku no. Kamu pun nafsu kamu rodun lalu dah kaji lalu puluk pokam. Biar ni memang ada mai dah. Malah suruhnya bulma. Mau menjadi lah mau bani mau fal. Kaji lagi aku suruh ye wah jibilet. Biar mereka lah filmnya pokam musuh tu sekitar le. Kau ibu le. Ah, kau mata aku maya siar. Eh, ini kan dia kalau mau bangun solo lagi dia. Kalau bangun solo film dia nak suruh ni dia eh cek. Ame, ame aku suruh film dia nak serah lah. Mere jual tan, mere tan ni kalau kalau dia tak serah ni wano. Oh ya tu. Suruh dia sila wajib ni lor mukti wakil la ni. Kalau buka suruh jual tu mula. Kena kata dia lah dia je di muka, kamu nato asrah ni ni. Menikah wajib je susu tak. Kui loja. Saya kasih ma ya salam ya salam deh. Kela ko alih solat wa salam. Kali mana dulu kita tu kiamat malam. Kali uli tu jalan lu jema kau soi majalonya. Kau uli kan ini la lu jema aman kan ini. Alih rewo tiada la kaya la mai ala uta la mai ini ga. Eh ala. Nanti tu guru pun mesti mati. Makan ini dia dunia kono. Madinya kan ini ma. Fui gamba bang mana mana ni kau bela ala. Mais le groupe n'est pas le thème. Il n'y a pas de groupe pour le thème. Il est le thème. Il n'y a pas de thème. Il n'y a pas de thème. Il n'y a pas de thème. Mais il n'y a pas de thème. 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 Mau jaga ini orang Maya de, kamu ilo jaga nani? Mau bani mau falu, sampai ni we furu julu kita, furu julu meila, ilo jaga ni furu meni ya julu sara, ilo jaga. Il a dit il a il a dit Mais à il a dit qu'il il a dit qu'il il a dit qu'il il a Il est patron. Et tu es conquérant. Il y a un monde de Moussou, le vieux qui est mort pour le Niamé Ma. Il y a un monde de Moussou, le Koka Kou, le monde de Moussou, le Toufou, 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 Fatima Miria, Bamusoma Miria, ni demusoma ile tamiria, kwa Miria saba ni bula lugo. Dongo kwa Miria saba kile ni sali ya ele, kwa Miria Miria saba ni mumbi koka. Mumbi sana Miria, mumbi kito sopele kwa makua la bulu Miria, ani prandi kemi dogo kwa makara ni mumbi la mumbi. Kwa Musa ba mumbi pe mumbi kile ni kuna wadulani Miria ni kuta tiki. Demusoma fana ni lugo na. Eh, paman bulu, fama iye, demu soye, pas sebab ter, bulan milia ni kita. Funca nyuma iye na, eh ke mau prebrede, aji mau memang bulan milia itu yang pasti aman balik lah. Paman milia ini dekam, ah, alat iye ke la, funca brede la, demu soye memang, nena aku mai lah, mami soalna soalna kono demu ni mesti si nyong gaya buku brede, eh ke mau men. Ah, macam ada guna ini, cuma sebut cuma kan guna ini tak belalak. Ah, umum ini lah. 
Et nous sommes bien dans le monde, nous sommes même en côté. Nous sommes en train de faire un Et bien, nous sommes en train de faire un mot. Je ne sais pas si je suis en train de faire un mot. Je ne sais pas si je suis en train de faire un mot. Mais moi, je ne sais pas si je suis en train de faire un mot. Je ne sais pas si je suis en train de faire un mot. Je ne sais pas si je suis en train de faire un mot. Je ne sais pas si je suis en train de faire un mot. Namoriama, afin de marquer la lumière à la nuit, pour un accord, à propos à la vie aux autres enseignements. Il y a une sorte d'enseignement à la. Kataya Mousso Mouini, Kataya Mousso. Ah, Allah. On n'a pas la vie aux autres, mais on a dit que nous sommes comme nous sommes, comme nous sommes de Tunaka, la Yapoche, à la Kodi, puis collé au côté d'enseignement. Au désignement, mais n'a la fait au côté de nous. Donc, au boulot. Kuna moya madili maolo kufendo kuto moya mama falina inka ba nangomado mena tu dola dunia kwa wole kani sisi na isa na ala dunia kala afanya ali dumu ma ala wole kwa moka demu solo mena furukaje kala furuche ni na madi ai ma ala wole kwa doli rebi furu masaba ai na iche lubenda ai ni nyonge ala dunia kala bendo ai ni nyongo tete ala wole kwa Jadi yang mabai di fuku miliari aila ala ini na aila anak tanah na fuku mema ala ulah cember lagi ni ma ala ulah. Mau minyak fuku di ala emzron de kala brakadina cewul ma ala ulah. Mau ini na ala fem masa ba masa city ala ala ini na mola fem pedi e luanzila kala ini na bela kabe reka ni rodi na kamu bo luanzila ala ulah. Jilu la jilu ni fem pedi na kala jilu seramu ya mau bela dia ni ala ulah. Mau bela no dulu besar kasi alik ya ma ala ini. Mani wisa kwa wajafu ya maala wole. Oba musodo lume ni chelo wisa chesa ya wisi mla. Alai ni namola kala fuche bre bre dai maala wole. Chema kwa nasa ni kala riki na diu maala wole. Oba ni ni alafu lume ni yana kala si di mama kadi kaira wala maala wole. Laba mbuyu ma ya ala boloka kemo ni maala wole. Laba mbuyu ya kala mata kama maala wole. Pembe nata ni furufa ala ala mwa ni ile alafu masa seti masa ni mda furu kaira taka la di bela dai maala wole. اللهم ربنا عاتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقينا عذابنا ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد زلتنا وحبنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الغفور صلى سبحان ربك رب العزة معصوم والسلام على رسول الله الحمد لله رب العالمين Today is an important day for every single one of us here, and we are so excited to be here today. It is an excitement of seeing a very young brother here, my own brother, my own friend, by name Abu Bakr Sharif. Mashallah, we make it short, Abu Sharif. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala tells us in the Quran and Kareem. In Surah Al-Baqarah, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Unna libasun lakum, wa antum libasun lahum. Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah says, you the man, your wife is a cover close for you, and you the man, you are cover close for your wife. What does that mean? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to tell us 
those who married and who have their wife, their spouse, or maybe their spouses, because maybe some may have one or two or three, mashallah, and maybe some may only have one, like my brother have one right now. So Allah subhanahu wa says in the Quran, Hunna libasun lakum wa antum libasun Allah says, you the man, you are cover clothes for your wife, and your wife is a cover clothes for you. What does that mean? My brothers, my sisters, it doesn't mean your blanket on your bed, no. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking in the cradle. What does that mean? We come down to break it down for each other. My sisters, my brothers in Islam, if you are married to a man, one thing you need to put in your mind, you have done a very big sacrifice. It's marriage. Marriage is a big sacrifice that any person on earth can go through for the pleasure of Allah and the benefits for yourself. Because it is an instruction from Allah to get married. And whenever you do it, you get the barakah from Allah and you will get the physical benefit from yourself on earth. And some of us are right now, we are here taking care of our parents. That's a physical benefit to those parents who get married and born their children and raise them up in Islamic conduct. May Allah do that for us all. So my brothers and sisters in Islam, here we go. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you the man, you should cover your wife and the wife should cover you the husband. My sisters in Islam, Today you got married to one of our brothers and maybe it might be any one of us here, maybe tomorrow might be the next brother. It might even be me or it might be one of us here. If you got married to a woman, you as a woman in the home, you should learn how to cover up your home affairs. Don't every time you are calling the Imam, you are calling your father, you are calling your mother, you are calling your, your, your friends, your Yo, you know your uncle, your aunt to come and talk case in your house. It looks so premature. And if you're not a mature person and you want to get married, it becomes an embarrassment to the husband. Because every time we have case in your house, subhanAllah, it becomes an embarrassment for the husband. Or maybe an embarrassment for the woman. So you need to keep your husband secret. That's what Allah is telling you. And maybe tomorrow the brother don't have maybe 500 ladran dollar for the food money. And now the brother gave you 250. Does it mean you should go on maybe on social media, on TikTok, or maybe on Twitter, or maybe on Instagram, on Facebook, or maybe and say today was 250 for our home affairs? Subhanallah, what an embarrassment! It becomes an embarrassment for you and your husband. That's what the husband have for that day, my sister. Manage it. And Subhanallah, one of the good things about some of our sister here, they know how to cook. So whenever they put their small drivers together, you taste it. It's like one restaurant food. MashaAllah. It becomes a jolly of rice for you. So now if the husband only have 250 to give it to you, my sister, manage that. So you have to cover up your husband. And the husband too, you need to cover up your wife. It's not maybe if the woman made a mistake and maybe she made, you know, SubhanAllah, you know these days we have a uh, Haja season, Makabai season and what of you. And maybe she made a mistake and put Haja season enough in the soup. When you taste the soup and say, hey, hey, you have, you have cooked a lot of salt today. And you start to shout and bounce and start to scream on your wife. SubhanAllah, no. That's not what the Prophet used to do. Some days when Hafsa alayhi salam, I mean, radiallahu anha, used to make a mistake. Whenever she cook, the Prophet would be the one telling her, Hafsa, you made some kind of mistake today. But you know how? With respect and honor. Allah. Because the both of you, you are partner. Allah says in the Quran, I created you and your spouse in, in peers. So if one is shunted, you can develop the other one. So my brothers and sisters, in the same ayah that I read previously, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the man is like a cover cloth for the woman and the woman is like a cover cloth for the man. You know, some of the beauty of clothing we wear, this clothes on me right now, some of the beauty of our clothing we wear today is right now we are getting very closer to real season. That's a logic point of the same ayah that Ibn Abbas, we are getting very closer to rainy season, right? 
Right now we are experiencing rain is falling and cool will start blowing very soon in June, July. SubhanAllah. August, very cool. If the cold is coming, your dress code will be quite different like the way in which the sun was shining this golden Ramadan. We all know how the sun was like this golden Ramadan. It was very, very hot. Some of us never used to wear a gown because of the sun, like one of me. I used to avoid the gown because you know why? When you sit down somewhere, you it's safe to save you from taking bath. You don't even wet your body and you just wear your clothes. You become to look Charlie, you know. SubhanAllah. So we used to avoid the gown. So while we start to observe our dress code now, we will go along with the weather. Now we start to dress uniquely with the sun. MashaAllah. That's another logic of the clothes. The woman, and maybe the husband is in the home and sometimes the husband has some kind of tricky life. My sisters, I will tell you today, a woman can make a man to be a better man. Trust me, woman, you can change the man from one style to another. You know, most often our Labrain women, they don't know how to do it. Sometimes they are lacking a bit, but mashallah, some of them know how to do it through the cooking. When they touch the soup for you, subhanallah, you become so confused. Mashallah. And now if you go out to maybe Senegal, Mali, Niger, Algeria, you will find these women, when their husband returns back from work, they are born in a tie. And sometimes when you ask them why they say, I want the man to sit down with beside me. Subhanallah, it's another logic. Mashallah. And now when the rainy season is coming, what happened? We start to dress according to the rain weather, the cold weather. We start to dress uniquely. This is to tell you, Anwar Ta'ala is telling you and I, my brothers and sisters, we need to be unique to each other. Let us be like the sun and the moon. Right? The sun, it may be, subhanAllah, if we have a long day, we will have a short night. Right? Or maybe if we have a longer night, we will have a shorter day. SubhanAllah. Do you really see how they are moving? No one day you will hear to say today, the sun say I'm coming to fight the moon, except maybe eclipse happens. Maybe when eclipse happens, it doesn't mean they are fighting. It is a warning from Allah. Whenever eclipse happens, doesn't mean the sun and the moon are fighting. It is a sign from Allah. If you have the means, you can go and perform Salatul Qusuf. Two raka'ah will long to you. It's another topic, inshallah. So my brothers and sisters, if you see the sun and the moon, they, is, they are moving according to the instruction from Allah. There is no noise, there is no argument, there is no headache. MashaAllah. You know why? The two of them understand each other. They follow the legislation. You know, I, told, I always tell people, marriage is another form of legislation. Yes. Because you are there to produce, reproduce, MashaAllah. And secondly, you are there to help others, to encourage others to get married. You are there to go and talk to the brother who are already married, but he don't understand what is marriage. And may Allah give us deep understanding of marriage. My brothers and sisters in Islam, today in our society, today in the world we live, some of us don't really want to get married the right time. You know, I always tell people, in Islam, it's good you love someone deep down your heart, from your heart, before you get married with them. Don't just rush. I'm not saying you should go and tell your daddy, oh daddy, you know, I saw one of my brothers who I know very good, and the brother is very, very bad. You know, you know, one day he went to our uncle and said, uncle, that was his dad, you know, it's my uncle. He said, daddy, I want to get married to one girl. I get the girl on my mind. And to myself, I say, no. Say, daddy, I get the girl on the bed. And that's the fact. You know why? My brothers, if he wants to marry a woman, do not go and minimize yourself, you know, and try to disgrace you and yourself from the woman. As you know the woman before marriage, subhanAllah. It becomes a disgrace and embarrassment. Even tomorrow, if you guys get married, no respect. It won't be 100%. Because you know why? Even someday, if you want to talk to your wife, no control. You will tell the wife, I know you, man. What do you want to say? The two of us are on the same Zama level. What do you want to tell me? Yes, even if the man is cheating now, you are afraid to tell him, don't cheat that way and come this way and go. Because the two of you was on the same Zama rank, the same Zama level. The same one, you know, tell tell something, you know, subhanAllah. May Allah forgive our sins, may Allah grant us ease. So you should get the woman on your mind, not on the bed before the marriage. Don't get the woman on the bed, but get the woman on your mind. Then before marriage occurred. You know, one of the beauty 
of Islam when Allah subhanahu wa says in Surah Al-Rum, وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً Allah said, I placed between the two of them, both two of them, love and mercy. Allah said, He placed between the two of you, love and mercy. And now, Ibn Jarara Qatada narrated that hadith in one of the tafsir that tells us that, in fact, it was in that tafsir that love itself, L-O-V-E, was highly on the rightful definition. Can someone actually go to deep down definition of L-O-V-E, love? No, we say love, L. L stands for look. Before you marry the woman, look at the woman first. That's love, L-O-V-E. L means look, look very good, look at the woman, look at her. Look at the woman good, mashallah. She looks amazing. She got a very good face, mashallah, hey. You know. And the O stands for observation. After looking at the woman, mashallah, she looks amazing, hey. You start to observe, who is the woman? After looking at her, now observe the character. You need to observe how she walk, how she talk, how she behave to her parents, how she know, and maybe how she even sometimes talk to her schoolmate, or maybe her workmate, or maybe even her workers who work under her. Right? You need to observe. From the observation, you come to the V, the verification. Now after observing, you have to verify the whole story. MashaAllah. Now you sit down, you analyze, now you go to one of the sheikh. Sheikh, I've seen that girl. I like that girl. Where is she coming from? Man, she looks amazing. Yes, MashaAllah. And now you try to develop the, the relationship on your mind for the girl. And after that, the right for sunnah, you come to the parents. Hey, daddy, mommy, I've seen some flower in your homes. But you're not the one to come on that point. Go to your mother and tell your father, SubhanAllah. Go to your mother and father. Tell your father, Father, I've seen one girl in, in Sheikh Kramara house. You look amazing, man. She knows how to read the Quran. She she got a very good talent, you know, talent. And she knows how to talk, mashallah. She's beautiful, mashallah. And sometimes the brothers too might be saying, hey, hey, my woman don't have hips. Forget about that. It's not a matter of hips. It's a matter of the character. Forget about the hips. You know, a brother came to me once in the masjid and said, hey, Sheikh. My mother don't have hips, what should I do? I say, hey, my brother, don't go and fornicate. Manage your madam. That's what Allah has given you. He didn't force you, you saw how you went there. MashaAllah, was the problem? You see, so, and after you go and meet your mama and your daddy, what you do? They're going to meet the madam parents, and they're going to say, we want your daughter for our son. And now, if you wants to go by the sharia, by the rightful sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, well, you don't need to go and get married behind your child. No, no. That's not the right for sunnah. The right for sunnah is, let the girl and the boy, let them meet. I'm not saying you should meet in one motel, or one hotel, or one ghetto, or astaghfirullah. Or one, maybe in one corner side, or behind the window. Subhanallah, someday the brother will go and say, Fatu, Fatu, come on, come on. No, 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 no. That's not the case. MashaAllah, they can meet somewhere open. Maybe like your veranda, or maybe your living room. And you know, mashallah, you put one of the brothers to be like sitting on one side watching. Let, the, man, let the, the boy and the girl talk. And now, let the boy know what the girl like and let the girl know what the boy like. They like and dislike. And now, maybe, if the girl says, I don't want you, my brother, don't be angry, don't be rude. Do it easy. Okay, madam, no problem. I just developed love for you, but since you don't want me, no problem, move on. There are other women who are there, more beautiful than her. Women found them through the blessings of Allah. All right? And now, from that point, mashallah, you can go to the process. The E now stands for the engagement. That's it. L-O-V, that's the L-O-V today. We are overlooking, just joking, and running around. Valentine's Day is coming. That's not love. That's haram. The Valentine's Day is not the real love. The real love is the L-O-V-E. As Allah says, Mawaddatan wa rahmah. May Allah give us Mawaddatan and may Allah give us wa rahmah. And after the love, Allah give you mercy. My brothers and sisters, we are seeing in most of our marriages today, when the man wants to get married to the madam, even the woman says, lay down, he will lay down. Trust me. At the time, the brother wants to marry a daughter. And the girl says, I want, I want you to go and look for one for me tomorrow. I got poor girl on campus. Wallahi, the brother will go and look for that kind, bring it. But now if you get married to the madam, trust me, most of our marriages today, this is not happening. Before you marry the woman, you do everything. And after the marriage, you don't care. There is no rahmah. Because of our own carelessness, may Allah give us rahmah in our marriages. My brothers and sisters in Islam, 
We need to be like the sun and the moon in marriage. The day the sun don't shine for all long day, you will see the night will come and cover up the day. The day that the, the, the night is not too long, you will see the day will come and cover up the night. MashaAllah. That is, they are working together. They are in a cooperation. So may Allah give our marriages, may Allah bless our brothers and sisters. Who wants to get married? Who are married? With good character in the marriages. So my brothers and sisters in Islam, as I said previously, marriage is a very big sacrifice. Because you are getting married to someone that you have never tasted a fool from her before. Maybe the sister, you know, the people have a parable. The woman can say the body can say my body is rotting, right? If you want to get married to a man's daughter, the man won't be brave to tell you, hey, my brother, my daughter don't even know how to call good. good. Just the fact, you know, means is Bologoji, right? Or wait for me downstairs. Or wash your hand, you know, stuff. Allah, subhanAllah, that's our soups. Or maybe my woman, my daughter don't even know how to call Bologoji. Maybe the father don't want to say, the mother don't want to say, and you are now saying, you can no more wait again, you just want to have your madam. And now after the marriage, my brother, you have to be patient. You have to be. Because maybe you don't eat pepper, or maybe her parents eat pepper. So she's coming with a new taste. She's coming with a new, you know, form of cooking. So if the woman cooks pepper, and you don't love pepper the first day, don't go to the shop. Hey Aisha, I told you, hey, I told you, no, you know, you know how we behave some days. Didn't I warn you? No, come on, my brother. Let's be love, let's be a joke. The Prophet used to joke with his wife. Yes, in fact, the Prophet had a name for Aisha. He said, Ash Ash. That's Aisha name, mashallah, a very beautiful joke name. Yes, Khadija, he said, Khadija, Khaj, Khaj, a very lovely name. Hafsa, Haf, Haf, a very beautiful name. Some days it's a beyond joke. Yes, Aisha, Ash Ash. And now I want to tell you, Abu, this is my little sister, my little sister named Aisha. The day I hear a complaint, I will tell you that day, inshallah. <laughs> May Allah save us far from complaining. You know, subhanAllah, you see the Ustad there, we will tell you, give you 25 latches. And in our culture, it don't work, right? Even if you wrong your wife, they say, go and let the wife come and beat you. No, my brother, this is not how the marriage is supposed to be. We are a human, we make mistakes. We are humans, we are people that make mistakes. So whenever you make mistakes, you realize a mistake. The best amongst you are those acts of forgiveness. Go back to the madam, say, hey, my sister, I wronged you yesterday. Forgive me, man. Come on, baby. You know, that's a wife, man. You got a lot of beautiful name. Honey, baby, sweetie, mashallah, my butter, my bread, you know. That's it. That's the beautiful name you need to call your wife. Is it? That's not a shame. That's a reality. And now one of the issues now we have to discuss about that we the men most often, we are the problems when it comes to bear the fears. Men are thinking that women don't have sexual need. Only us know, even they are humans, they are creatures. They have sexual need. I'm sorry, but that's the fact. Forgive me, that's the fact. We the men, we only feel that the women don't have sexual need, only us. And the Prophet says in Hadith, the man who will satisfy his wife on the bed and do some of the good deeds to his wife without bed is amongst the pet believers. The Prophet says, it is not only to say you the man should be satisfied, you need to satisfy your wife. And the wife said, my husband, I need of you. Do not start to say, come on, man. The, mala, the hadith says, if you refuse your husband, the angel will swear you. So today, I don't need you. My brother, you will be cursed too. 50-50. That's it. It's a feeling. It's from Allah. It's not from the madam. Neither from Jinnah Musa. You know, it's from Allah. Right? So we need to each help each other. May Allah forgive our sins. May Allah grant us ease. My brothers and sisters in Islam, we are here today to celebrate, jubilate, you know, and also to masticate. I know there is a food here, right? I hope that's not Bologuji. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. Mama Aisha, you want to cook it? We want to taste your hand. InshaAllah, we will come and taste your hand one day. Yeah, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. So we are here, we, we are here to celebrate, jubilate, masticate Article 13, that's the, to eat. MashaAllah, there is a habit for you. Don't worry, we will eat today, InshaAllah. So you see, my brothers and sisters in Islam, we need to help our wives. 
We need to be good to our wives. We need to pet our wife. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looked at the women and gave them three names. We have Hawa, Imra'a, Nisa. Hawa means to satisfy something. They are there to satisfy us, the women. So we need to be like something good to them. Right? And Nisa means something I'm quick to forget. Wallahi, my brother, trust me. Even if you build 10 some beautiful women here today, after a few months later, and you guys have confusion, you know she will tell you, you don't do nothing for me. That's how it looks like. You build 10 story building for them. That's what they will tell you. If I don't do nothing, what do you do for me? Give me a chance, man. That's a fact. So Allah called them Nisa. They are quick to forget. It's not a wrong deal. And the hell, the Imra, Allah called them Imra. Imra means marrow to see yourself in them. You know, you know, I wear my coat suit. My brother here, you know, he's a very big man with coat suit, mashallah. He wears a coat. And now he looks somehow a little bit not unique. And when Aisha sees him, he says, hey, honey, the coat, the tie is not well fixed. Come on, can I fix it? Mashallah, she becomes a mirror for you. May Allah help us. May Allah give us good marriage. May Allah protect our sins. May Allah grant us ease. And may Allah give them good children. May Allah give every one of us good children. My last advice to you, my brothers, you are just getting married. Remember Allah says in the Quran, لِلَّهِ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشَاءُ يَهَبُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ إِلَاثًا وَيَهَبُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ الذُّكُورِ Allah say all praises belongs to He Allah based what is on what is in heaven and on earth belongs to He Allah Allah say He creates what He wills He gave to whom He will feed male child and He gave to whom He will male child One of the problem we have today in our homes if you see the woman on a bonnet catcher, don't start telling the woman you're not going to boost them up. It becomes shirk. You become like those people. The Jahiliya group, you become like one of them. If the woman born on a catcher, Allah says in the Quran how he wants. Or maybe Allah says he gives to whom he want male. If the woman on a bonnet catcher, that's how Allah wants it to be. Don't get angry at her. Don't say why well, you're not born a girl or boy. And Allah continues saying, or if Allah wants, He will give you both boy and girl. Maybe they, Yemen Aisha, born one girl, next day she will born one, but will be my own nimsek, inshallah. I will fight for that nimsek, inshallah. You see there? So that's it. Oh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says again, If He wants, He will make the person barren. That is, you can't born. It is a decision from Allah. So don't tell the woman you don't have a good stomach, your stomach is cursed, or maybe stop for Allah. He becomes one of those kafirun. You become one of those blind, you know, Muslims who are in the jahiliya life. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Innahu alimun qadir. He is the best making decision. So my brothers today in Islam, every one of us here is a little bit of advice. May Allah accept that from us all. May Allah forgive our sins. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين فاستغفروا إنه الغفور الرحيم تقبل الله منا ومنكم. سلطان وسواس لك لا فرنيا وما فيها لا. كم يأتي جبيا على إيجار فروما مبا يام تجك أكوندالو يام كموسوك أكوندالو أموي موت يمالو ودونا يمينه. Wole mo mo la ja, die ya ni furulo, die ya ni, ki nyon die ya furulo, furu nyon ma fla a yi fana ki ba ma, die ya li minere, yi ma yi mousso yi kwo mina, yi ma yi che yi kwo mina, waka ni yo mi ni ani mousso di di ani, waka ni mi ni ani che di di ani, Tambien yaba le kediyalo, abesbisi kediyalo. Mwa mwuri le talasani ina. Ae ni wadiye, ae ite ni wadiye. Ae kafa ile muso hangi mae ni uomia. Wode muso mi ni weko no, pani njedi ya nini. Eketi ya furu salawe. Ala na hafa adipa na kono. Ya ayuha ladhina amanu. Inja akum fasiku binaba yifataba yanu. Ah, falou um na falou um na ala ele não mula no osso. É, mona ite na siá porque a nita musodi. Mona ite musodi na siá a nita é de. E a minha nida, e a minha nini, a boca do dinheiro sai ele ima. 
kama kwa kaona tu utakani muomba ni mauma fulu no mafia hu ai tomala mulu le fulu ke mulu fa ni kite jene ba kula ai tomalo mulu ye je no tia kula ama nyalo ai tomalo jene ba kunya mi na sani usas na usatalena jene ba kunya mi na kiela kwa chila ba muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ana jene ba kunya mi na kiela ala wuli Usan mo da na fadi Mario te dina ya polo Ko jene ba e da mi ala yoromi na mi usan mo Ko mi la fani e jene ba pola si la mo ma usan mo Mo da ka mo la ti ya ka o sa ba ni fi ya kote mo da tu ba jene ba ma a je na mi ni wo le fun mo ma fla te ni mu so ya ko na si a le ba na wo la fa e jene ba le ko a je na tu wa a fi ana
Il pour la consigne qu'elle est. Il dit donc que tu nous dis faire fi à la table. Et qui pour nous signer fi à. Il dit donc que tu nous dis signer ça va. Il pour la consigne ça va. Nous soyons cartonnés. C'est un cartonné. Moi il a été nous soyons moi. Il pour nous voir un miracle. Il pour nous dire là. Alors qu'on y a mis ma dieu c'est à faire mes liens. Alors soit ils sont à dire là. Au moins nous nous y mettons pas là du soir à dire bon. Mona Damia and Minelli, Tia Damia, Ah Tiama, Musuya Damia, Musuyama, or even a Sieno to Mola, or even a Kuna for Sia Saba, or as or even a Mida to Mola. It may be a Puedia Mini, it may be a Puedia Mini, Kamaku Kokadia Mini, Katao Makasi is in Osas, Kadi for Isema, a Yanama for Sia Saba, Eleven Aola, Yano Kotuno, he won't have to go to Sia Saba. Usa siweba na jitu wa mtoto iwoke ifambe kwa kakabo. Dene ba kwa. Mwagwe musola, mwagwe musola chubala mwagwe chela. Ape kwe, ape dene ba kwa chene. Adipo ni lagino. Mwagwe ba ye, mwagwe ulewe, kata apaka rina amusuma. Mwagwe safola, abu sherifu, ana muso. Mwagwe abu malo na mine ma, wole biebe yale. Mwana amani na sawalema. Amuso mifani ngini amani. Ala ala. Nyamando kula sama. Mwana ya muso minani. Mwana beleo. Wa mwana kumami fani. Ayi tando ono. Ikake mwana bebele nyanyaka. Muso kake mwana bebele nyanyaka. Le huna fie ni mwuli. Samia ni ni mwuli. Ala wakamwana. Ala wakamwana. Ala wakamwana. Ala wakamwana. Ala wakamwana. Ala wakamwana. اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين ودين الشرك والمشركين ودم العجائين وأصل بارك المعهدين اللهم منا في أوطاننا وأصل إيماننا ورات أمورنا اللهم من أرادنا بسول فدي لو فينا وجعل تدمير في تدمير يا أرحم الراحمين بارك الله لكما وبارك عليكما وجمع بينهما بالخير بارك الله لكما وبارك عليكما وجمع بينهما بالخير اللهم أنت الله الذي لا إله إلا أنت هذا الصمد الذي لم يل ولم يأكل كفنا اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما بارك على إبراهيم كامل المدين سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون والصلاة والسلام على الأنبياء والمرسلين وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين